Hey folks, good morning. Good to see you this morning. Hope you're off to a good start. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're having a good day. Today is Thursday, September the 30th. 30th. Thank you. So is today the last day of September? Mm -hmm. It's the last day of September. Man, the year is flying by. I remember doing this like last year at this time and thought how fast it was flying by. Man, it just keeps going faster and faster, does it not? Well, good to be with you on here. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're off to a good start. Um, we're, uh, we're dealing with homeschool woes this morning. Just sometimes the way it goes. So, right? Come here, buddy. Somebody's trying to slink away. <laughs> I'm gonna enjoy my coffee just a second. Mm -hmm. See, you do this. Is this a donut shop? Yeah. This is good stuff. I think I made it a little stronger than normal. No, that's that's good. <laughs> a little stronger than normal, that's good. Just before the point of becoming motor oil. Mm -hmm. That's how you want your coffee. Mm. All right. That's pretty good stuff. Well, good to be with you on here. Hope you're doing well. Um, I uh, have not. I didn't prepare a joke for you this morning. Oh, maybe you got a joke. You got a joke? No. It's not in a joking mood. Not in a joking today. mood today. Um, Are you something else? So, in, in, in lieu of that, I'll just give you a couple updates to what's going on. Yes. Um, we had uh, a good group yesterday at Popcorn and Snowcone. I don't remember the final count. Aaron, yeah. what was the number at Popcorn and Snowcone yesterday? 136, she thinks. So uh, we're still seeing kids. We had we had kids from Popcorn and Snowcone go to youth group last night. How cool is that? So that's a great thing. Um, uh, and you know that's what we want to see right we want to see that ministry turn into something that will be fruitful uh, for the church and, and I believe it will even down the road as well because there's gonna be one day as these kids grow up and get older and they're gonna say hmm remember that church remember that place remember those people so uh, keep working at it thank you for your help and for your support in that and uh, God's doing some awesome stuff through you um, it, we have some projects in the garden. If you'd like to help out in the, in the community garden area, um, let us know. I've got a list of projects that could put you to work. Big things or little things. doesn't matter. Uh, and whatever you feel like you'd like to help with, uh, I have a list. So come on out uh, and take a peek, and we'll, uh, we'll get you going in that stuff. All right? Um, we uh, have restarted Sunday school, so so get back in the swing of that. If you haven't joined us yet, come on out at 9.30, uh, and we've got a couple of different classes you can pick from and get involved in, uh, so do that. Uh, and just as a heads up, uh, I'm going to ask if you would. I know you do, I'm gonna ask, but, but I want to ask if you would. Uh, next weekend, so not this weekend, but next weekend, um, be praying for your pastor's kids, your PKs, uh, Aaron and Aiden and Eli, um, Missy's oldest, uh, are going to a PK retreat, pastor's kids retreat, just for pastor's kids, um, which is kind of cool. Uh, they've never done this before. Uh, I guess they used to have them in the past, and and uh, but now we've got three that are that are old enough to go to this thing, and so be praying for them. And, and I heard it's going to be a neat thing. So. Uh, Pastor Mickey will be driving them up to Tennessee. It's actually in Tennessee this year. Um, and so we'll be praying for them. And it uh, should be a fun time and a refreshing time for those students to be with other pastor's kids and and uh, share their their uh, battle wounds. <laughs> no, not really. But uh, they, live a, they live a little bit of a different life. Um, and so this will be good for them. Um and then, uh, last reminder, I believe we have six or seven spaces, six or seven spaces left for Trunk or Treat. So come on out, get signed up on the board. If, if you're not able to be there, uh, you can call us, text us, message us, whatever, and say, hey, can you just sign me up for a spot? Uh, if you want to be there to, to be there in person to give out candy and all that good stuff, 
come on out. We'd love to see you. It'd be a great, great thing. Our community always gets involved. They love it. People talk about it all the time. And so come on out, and we need you. Uh, if you're not able to be there, I'd love it if you could go drop by the store, pick up a bag of candy, and drop it off in one of the clothing baskets. Uh, or if that's not an option, and you'd like just to, like, I don't like to go shopping, I don't want to go in the stores, you can always just donate a couple bucks, and, and, and we'll order it and pick it up. All right? So it's going to be a great event. Looking forward to it. And uh, but for it to work the way it needs to work, we need you to be involved. There we go. All right, enough of that stuff. Let's do a quick devotional this morning. What do you think? So Tuesday we talked about hearing God's voice and and uh, you know trying to discern that and and sometimes you know we don't hear um, the way other people hear and it can be frustrating. Uh, so today we're going to talk about another practice um, about prayer life, hearing God's voice, uh, and, and also remembering. Um, understanding what he says. So, if you want to hear God speak, I want I want you to try doing this. And this always isn't easy. It's not always easy. Try to do this. Withdraw to a quiet place. Wait patiently and expectantly. That's sometimes not an easy thing to do because we live in a chaotic world. There's stuff going on all the time. Uh, we were just going over what we have to do. We have um, uh, literally this week. We've had two baseball practices on Tuesday. Gavin had a game last night. We have a practice tonight. We have a practice and a game on Friday. And then we have two more games on Saturday. So that is extracurricular to doing homeschool with, with five children. Uh, Angela working at the pregnancy center. Me at the church making sure everything is put together the way it should be. Uh, checking on you know people and, and doing all the stuff that we would normally do. Uh, so I get it. The world gets chaotic. You've got a busy schedule, but it's so important that we find our time to get away and find a quiet place so that we can wait patiently and expectantly. And then, and then this is a practice I want you to try. Ask God to give you a picture of what he wants to say to you. Hmm. That's interesting, isn't it? Ask God to give you a picture of what he wants to say to you. And then... Write it down. Write it down. I, I want you to hear uh, in, in the book Habakkuk. That's one that we don't use a whole lot, right? I actually have a favorite person. In the book Habakkuk, it says this. The Lord actually commands the author of Habakkuk. The Lord gave me this answer. Write down clearly on tablets what I reveal to you so that it can be read at a glance. That's, this is how we got the book Habakkuk. In chapter 1, uh, Habakkuk wrote down what he said to God. And in chapter 2, he wrote down what God said back to him. You should go and read it. Go and look at it. It's, it's, it's neat stuff. That's also how we got the book of Psalms. Many of those Psalms came directly from David's quiet place, his quiet time. David often meditated on the first five books of the Bible, the Torah. And then he wrote down his thoughts. He wrote down his feelings. And we call them psalms. In many of the psalms, he writes, he, he starts and writes out uh, what he's feeling, and then he ends up writing what God says. If your prayer life is stuck in a rut, you feel like you're just not getting anything, you, you tend to pray the same things over and over. God, be with this person. Bless this thing person bless their efforts would you heal them you know just the same things over and over and over here's what i want you to do and this is a practice and it, it, it's going to take some work it takes some preparation takes some effort start writing down your prayers start writing down your prayers don't speak a word don't speak a thing out of your mouth start writing down your prayers you know, God can hear your thoughts. He knows your thoughts. So we don't have to always verbalize them. But as a practice, your own personal prayer time, start writing down your prayers. Just write it out. This is the spiritual habit of, of journaling. Spiritual habit of journaling. And it's one that all Christians should understand and practice. All Christians, I believe, should practice this. A journal is not a diary. 
The diaries is it, it, it's about the things that you've done and the things that you did. Journal is about the lessons you've learned, the mistakes you made, and and what God has taught you. So I want to ask you to do something today. Uh, you can go to Walmart, Target, Staples, Office Max, Dollar Store, wherever, and you can pick up a little composition notebook. They're cheap. I think in, in school time they were, what, 50 cents? When school supplies were on sale, it might be a dollar now. They're cheap. Crayons? Composition notebook. Oh. Dollar? Maybe. Maybe, yeah. 89. Yeah. Pick up one of those, grab yourself a pen when you have your quiet time, and you have to plan it, so it takes a little bit of preparation and some work, but start your spiritual journaling today. And then guess what? When you begin to start to hear his word, you'll be able to go back and look at, oh yeah, remember I prayed for that. Remember what God said to me, look at what's happening now. It's gonna help you hear and remember what God is telling you. I remember so much better when I take time to write things out. That's why when I do study and sermon preparation, I write it out, I type it out. I put it down on paper. I don't just read it and say, oh yeah, that's a good idea. I should remember that to talk about on Sunday morning. I write it out. A lot of my sermons are in manuscript form. They're written out like, like a story. Because it's easier for me to remember and to prepare that way. This, this habit, this spiritual habit of, of journaling, I'm going to say it again, it's one that Christians should understand, but also all Christians should practice. So I want to encourage you today, find an opportunity to do some spiritual journaling. Pick up a notebook. If you need help, call me, let me know. I'll be happy to grab one for you. All right? And let's try it. Let's practice it. Let's see what God has to say to each of us. All right, folks. That's all I've got today. Hope you're off to a good start. Love y'all. Appreciate you. Have a great, great Thursday. Looking forward to seeing you again for uh, uh, for worship and for all that's going to be taking place. I believe the homeless is feeding this this Saturday morning, so homeless team will be homeless team will be serving, uh, and then um, then we'll gather again for worship. It's going to be a great day. All right, guys. Love y'all. Appreciate you. Be blessed. And remember. As he is a blessing to you, make sure that you take that opportunity to be a blessing to others. We'll see you again. Bye-bye.